Sure at the Lawrence Theater, it's time for the Mystery Hour, and here is your host, Mystery Jeff Hoda! How you guys doing? Yeah. Yes. I walked out with these because we just got them, and they're Emmy Awards. So we thought we'd put them on the set. Yeah. Do we deserve them? No. <laughs> but. They, we're not going to give them back. <laughs> hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. We're so excited that you're here. We have Jamie Dixon, visual effects supervisor from Hollywood. He's a big deal. Big deal. We also have the music of Patrick Murathy. Yeah. And we have a wonderful title sponsor. Due to a generous donation from Rosalie Wooten, our title sponsor is the Moxie Cinema. Check out this commercial we made. Hello, and welcome to the Moxie Cinema, Springfield's most splendid independent cinema. Enjoy our covered parking, sample our refreshing concession stand, and rest easy knowing that there are no communists on the premises. None at all. We've checked. We do an hourly search of the grounds. So you might get scared by a motion picture, but not by the reds. OK, then. Fun fact, if you are a sponsor with us, sometimes we'll run the ads by you after we make them. Sometimes we just make them. <laughs> uh, hey, over here is my affable sidekick, Dave Smith. How are you, Dave? Feeling good, feeling fine. Season six, going strong. I, there was almost a rhyme there. It was almost a rhyme. Almost a rhyme. <laughs> I pulled shoot halfway through. <laughs> All right, let's do things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Ah, shoot. I don't have my things I've noticed cards. Uh, does anyone know where they are? Things I've noticed cards. That man is everywhere. <laughs> All right, these are things I've noticed, things I've observed. Let's see if you guys can relate to some of these. I've noticed that I don't remember much of my time in the military, just that I was under general anesthesia. I've noticed that I find borrowing my wife's headphones and then losing them to be way more charming than she does. <laughs> I've, noticed that I pro I've noticed that I probably dance in dressing rooms a lot more than they realize. <laughs> it's not even meant to be funny, it's just true. I've noticed that it takes me forever to pick out an outfit that says I'm not trying. <laughs> I've noticed that my nightmare Facebook scenario would be opening my messages and finding one that starts, I see you've been looking at my pictures. <laughs> and finally, I've noticed that I would say I have a charming boyish quality to me when it comes to my finances. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it again. Here we go. 
I've noticed that I would say I have a charming boyish quality to me when it comes to my finances. That's things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. That's how you don't deliver a joke. <laughs> hey, uh, so we did, we do have a couple of new Emmys here. One for the show, for Arts and Entertainment Program. Uh, we also have one for Arts and Entertainment Program featured segment for Instagram Husband. And we got a lot of uh, notoriety and acclaim for that. Um, and so people started thinking, I think, that we were cooler than we are. And so, <laughs> We thought it was important to uh, show you guys a never released blooper reel of us filming Instagram Husband. Just to show we're not, we're not good. All right, here you go. All right, I'm rolling. I'm gonna be ready. Behind every cute girl on Instagram is a guy like me. And a brick wall. There's so many brick walls in this town. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nate and I'm an Instagram husband. I used to tell her she was pretty, and that was enough. Now it takes 2,000 a-holes with a thumb pressing the like. <laughs> <laughs> now it takes 2,000 a-holes on Instagram double tapping a picture. I used to tap it, now I'm gonna tap her. <laughs> I used to tap it. Hi, I'm Nate, and I'm an Instagram husband. So, uh, we eating these? Can we eat these now? Are we actually gonna eat these? Can we, uh, eat them? <laughs> and I was like, you should try it looking out the window. Oh wait, just a second. I should probably comment on this. Take a break and we'll be right back with Jamie Dixon. That comedy segment brought to you by Big Fish Screen Printing. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Hey, we have a great guest tonight. We're so excited to have him here, but we also have a great guest sponsor. <laughs> MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it. Peyton Turhead. I can't. It's in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> if you came here thinking I'd be good at this, you were wrong. Hey, we do have a wonderful guest tonight. Uh, he's done some amazing things. He's a visual effects supervisor from Hollywood. Uh, he did that for Terminator 2, for Titanic, for 42, for Concussion, for all kinds of movies you know and love. Please give it up for Jamie Dixon. Jamie. Hello, sir. 
sir. How are you? I'm very good. I've been enjoying the uh, whirlwind of Springfield. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know how to please a crowd. <laughs> but you got in. You got in last night. Got in last night. And you've been enjoying yourself. In fact, I found myself saying it was a Chamber of Commerce day, and in fact, we were with some people from the Chamber of Commerce, so it really was. <laughs> not, not only that, you went down the road and spent the day at Silver Dollar City. <laughs> we did. We rode the rides. How, how do you feel? It, it was fantastic. Are you kidding? But I you, mean, forget. I mean, you don't need coffee when you're 10 o'clock in the morning. You're on the... Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You need more of a sedative. Yes, no, that's true. No, it was great. It was, it was really, I mean, it was beautiful down there, amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, Silver Dollar City, if you want to be a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing that. We'll get you a chance. Thank you. But I want to get to what you do. Tell me, so tell everyone that maybe doesn't know, what is a visual effects supervisor? The, the, there's two kinds of effects in movies, or things that fall in what you call the effects category. Uh, there's special effects, which are basically things when you're making the movie you see, like an explosion or a car cl crash or a flip oh. or whatever. And then what I do is what's called visual effects, and those you see when a movie comes out. The, um, it's basically trick photography, green screen compositing, oh. animation, all of those types of things. An example is on the movie 42, for instance, we recreated Ebbets Field, which was torn down in the 50s, and you can't go shoot a movie with Ebbets in Ebbets Field, but right. to create that, we, you know, my job is to, to read the script, work with the director on deciding what the angles are going to be and what he wants to see up in there, and, and then uh, working, then we go shoot the film, mm -hmm which was, this one was done in Atlanta. We shot for 45, 50 days, something like that. And uh, I'm there to make sure that everything is shot correctly and I have enough data. And I, the other, one of the things I was doing is I was adding crowds. You have an incredibly full theater tonight. I wouldn't have much to do here, I don't think. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> in, and yours would be non-paying audience members too, right? My, my, yes. Well, we did, we actually used a bunch of extras, but we had, we took about 100 extras and we literally made 40,000 of them. Yeah. Filling the, filling the stands. And, and in, uh, your, in your time, that sort of thing has changed dramatically, where you don't, you, in the old days probably, you would have needed to we, fill a stadium. We, I did it in the old days too, it turns out, and yeah. it was, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a very different process. And but the, the revolution that's happened in filmmaking, obviously, is the use of computers for creating these illusions. And it, it used to be done during doing techniques that I just called, like, black magic. It was, you know, the trick photography, multiple exposures of film and stuff. It was like doing art with your eyes closed. And with a computer, you can, you can see what you're doing and really... And the, the downside is that the you know, filmmakers have become such perfectionists. It's just, you know, there's a... <laughs> yeah, and that's a big downside to you. I mean, to I, the viewer, I, I'm like, oh, this yeah. looks perfect. And you're like, oh, no, great, I, this has to be perfect. Yeah. Luckily, I am frequently, ho hopefully, more of a perfectionist than the filmmaker. Yeah. So, um, so this, isn't, this isn't something people always would want to say, but I'm going to ask you directly. What's, something, what's some of the work that you've done that you're most proud of? Oh, gosh. I, I, you know, it's great when we catch people off guard. I, I think 42 I gave as an example. That was great because I, I went to some test screenings and there was these, there was these kind of old guys in the theater that had been to Ebbets Field and they were, and you could see them kind of go, oh, they did it. They made this place of their memory. We, we recreated this place of their memory. That was incredibly satisfying. Those type of effects. If you had ever thought that we were doing effects on that movie, we'd messed up. Right. On other movies, 
like I, I did this show called Deep Blue Sea, uh -huh. and this was satisfying that there's a big, long-winded speech that Samuel Jackson's giving, and unexpectedly, wham, a shark comes out and grabs him and takes him down right in the middle of the thing. And the, <laughs> the audience erupted with screams, and it was, uh, those kind of things are very satisfying when you catch them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking. Erupting the screams. <laughs> yeah. But you are making this, you're taking this thing that's, that's abstract and turning it into a thing, but not just into a thing, but a thing that connects with people's emotions. Yeah, absolutely. I, the, you know, that's one of, we're, we do incredibly technical stuff. There's, I mean, there was, I did a shot in Titanic that was 72 frames long, which is three seconds, and I worked for three months on it. <laughs> Literally. And... It, it was the, you know, but it was a moment that people remember in that movie. It was the dolphins jumping under the bow of the ship as it's leading yeah. out to, it was, as Jim called it, as Jim Cameron, the director, called it the last happy moment in the movie. Oh, yeah. And, uh, um, yeah. and, and, and so the thing that's Can fun... Can I just tell you? Worth it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the, what... What I, find, what I find so fun about what I do is there's this crazy technical noodling, fussing around, getting it perfect that nobody is going to have the patience for or get or understand. But thank you. People who see the movie do see and understand, and we get to share you know, at that level. And when it's successful, it's fantastic. And you, so. what's great as a, as a viewer, I don't think about it. That's it, when you know yeah. you're doing it well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, there's certain times I want. I, I did this movie called Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, and we, you know, we blew up this planet into smithereens. I hope you realize that that didn't really happen. But <laughs> I, no, so, I'm a big dumb, I'm a big dumb idiot. So thank you for explaining it. Yeah. So uh, now you're into augmented reality these days, and you've put together something for the show. Can Would you, you like to see it? Yeah, I'd love yeah. to see it. Would you guys like to see it? Um, uh, augmented reality is a technique. This is, you know, one of the things that, uh, that I love doing is just never standing still. And when we started doing visual effects for films in, uh, you know, using computers to do them, we were inventing scanners and all of these new techniques. And yeah. I, did the, I did the morphing <coughs> faces in the Michael Jackson video, Black or White. Yeah. And we made that... We've, we were making it up, and yeah. and and so this is um, this is something that's uh, been recently popularized by Pokemon Go, but has existed for a long time. Actually, yeah. it was a tool that I used on 42, and I don't know what the camera we'll this situation camera here, is. Yeah. Here. Okay, so um, so I have a little card here, which of course is a mystery mm -hmm. hour, and we we made a special little thing for uh, for. <laughs> Here you go. Here, stick your head down a little bit. I'm going to... Uh, oh, there, we got a selfie, so... Well, thanks so much for You're being welcome. here. That's Absolutely. Jamie Dixon. We're back with Patrick Murphy. Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vanderbilt. Musical guest brought to you by Brian Properties. Hey! <clears throat> welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <clears throat> Let's just move on to the music because he is wonderful. Please put your hands together for our musical guest tonight, Patrick Murathy. Patrick.
10% of our box office proceeds this week go to a great organization called the Springfield History Museum. We will see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>